Hey y'all, it's me, it's T, the Mindset Midwife, here with your Sunday sip. That's good right there. Drink it in, my fam, drink it in. Listen, I just want to say, <laughs> the content that I've been exposed to over probably the last week or so has just been very very interesting and i know that god has purpose in everything literally nothing in my life happens by chance or by circumstance i don't know about you so i have arrived to the level where i always listen with a certain ear and i'm just like okay can i use that or what is that so it was just this weekend when i learned that there's a such thing as a poo shiesty you know what that is okay so <laughs> Oh, so he has a very interesting song. Of course, it's kind of catchy, right? And he says, you know who took it. Come get it back in blood. And I was like, ooh. And he, that's, you know, that's a part of his hook. And so he says that several times. And every time he said, I'm like, ooh, right? And y'all know I'm from the hood. So I've been surrounded by violence my entire life except for you know my more recent adult years and um i was just like oh and I, I've, I've heard it several times over the past few days but the last time i heard it it hit different after realizing what the young man's name is and a whole thing and just going over the fact that music these days is super crazy but that really spoke to me because that is what god feels about us you like okay she is too preachy too churchy for me but listen we all of us the collective and individual us were in such a sick state a sick state of mind okay we were taken we were separate from our creator okay the one that created and absolutely loves us and because he loves us he came to get us back in blood listen listen that's gangster god is the real og you understand what i'm saying don't play i was just like what in the world and this when i was i had to chuckle to myself i was like i gotta tell my people because god came and got you back in blood do you hear me the ultimate sacrifice he cared that much. He saw that much in you. He know what he placed in you, what he birthed in you. He know that his power, passion, and purpose in you. And he said, you know what? I'm going to have to get her back in blood. I'm going to have to get him back in blood. I'm not going to let this be wasted. I'm not going to let the enemy take nothing from me that rightfully belongs to me. I'm going to get it back in blood. Honey, let me tell you something. And guess what? Then let's take it to another level. You have to have that same attitude about your purpose, your promise, your dream. Get it back in blood. Listen, blood, sweat, and tears, time, talent, and treasure. You have got to invest if you want to go to the next level. You cannot, you cannot just sit there doing the same things and expect a different result okay by the way if you haven't already checked out the brand new episode of bold journeys podcast honey we're streaming everywhere you need to go and check that out the episode is called get off your butt get off the couch get out the bed go after that dream if you don't like your life change it okay you don't have to stay stuck you don't have to stay in that same position that you are. You don't have to stay in a dead-end job. You don't have to stay in a dead-end relationship, quiet as it's kept. Oop. You don't have to stay in a dead church. You don't have to stay in a dead neighborhood. You need to go where it's popping, where things are great. No, I'm not taking nobody from their man out of their house. I'm not telling nobody to leave their lady. Nothing like that. The Boldings are happy. We working and we continuing to build ours. Hello, somebody. But what I'm telling you is that greater can be yours, okay? Maybe your greater is staying where you are and just taking it up a notch, doing what you need to do. But guess what? You got to get off your butt. Just like the show says, it's on your favorite podcast app, Apple, Google, all of the above, Spotify, and all of that, okay? Take a listen to that and just know you got to get it back in blood, baby. You got to put something on the table, put something on the line, and go and get that thing just like God got you. What? Don't let Sunday be the only day you pray. This is the start to an amazing week. We're going to crush it, I believe, 
in you and I'll holla at you real soon until then.